So you've probably seen a lot of these big battery chargers, portable power stations out on the marketplace. I've reviewed a bunch of them, um, but this particular one has some really unique features that I think are key differentiators from others in the market. Hey, it's High Tech Dad, and I'm back with some more technology reviews that you can use at home, on the go, in your family environment, that sort of thing. And today we're taking a look at the Runhood Rally 600 Pro. Now, this is a portable battery solution. There are lots of them out on the market, but this one has some stuff that is really unique. And I'm gonna go into some of the features as I said, this is the pro version. There are other packages available, but this one has sort of all the bells and whistles. Um, let me start with this device itself. So probably weighs about 16 pounds. You can see it's uh, fairly compact. Nothing really on the sides other than the branding. Um, on the front, there's a control panel and actually you can read all the details of some of the things that um, you can plug into this and the power rating and that sort of thing on my review on my website, which is on hightechdad.com. Links below in the description. But the really unique thing is actually what you see on the back here. And what these two compartments are, are actually places where you can put in energy bars. I'm not talking about something that you eat. I'm talking about these are portable batteries that you just push the button in and you can take them out. Now, why is this important? Because you can hot swap them into this power station and not lose power coming out of any of the ports on the other side. So that means you can take one of these that's dead grab another one, pop it back into the back, slide it on in, and none of the power has changed. So like if you have a medical device that cannot have the power interrupted, like a CPAP machine, or for me, when I had a power outage uh, a few months ago and I had to connect to the internet, I plugged my router and modem into a different battery solution and the power outage was a couple of days. Problem was, once the, the whole battery pack ran out of juice, everything died again. But with this solution, I can just keep these two batteries on standby, and there are different ways to charge these, which I'll go into in a second. And I can just hot swap them in, and I don't lose power at all. So let's take a look at what's, in, what's uh, included in the pro version. There are other versions and I list them out on my website review. Um, but I really think the pro one gives you the most flexibility, especially if you're gonna be using this as a um, emergency backup power supply. If you're going camping for a while, if you're on the road, I mean, you could take it to the park, it doesn't really matter but this one has all the options that I think you'll need. So let's take a look at some of the components here. So with the Pro Pack, you get four of these uh, battery modules here. And these are rated at, I believe, uh, 324 uh, watt hours. So you can combine them all together, as many as you want, and you can almost have unlimited power supply. But the, the Pro Pack does come with with four of them what also comes with the pro pack are two modules that snap on to any of the batteries one is a usb module and one is just sort of an ac plug module so you can have two batteries in this main device and you can also just take this snap it on and suddenly you have another portable battery that you can use to power laptops or smartphones or tablets. And in fact, there are two USB-Cs, two USB-As. The USB-Cs uh, handle 100 watts out so you can run a laptop, charge a laptop fairly easily. 
and it's 100 watts on each one so you could have two powering it this other module that you just snap on is for a ac plug it does have fans built in so it won't overheat you can't plug in like a power tool or something like that but something smaller maybe a, a portable refrigerator or lights or something like that that you want to power that that isn't too high in the wattage you can do that as well um, the other neat thing about the USB-C version is that one of these USB-C ports you can actually plug in a, a wall adapter uh, with USB-C and charge the battery itself so not only does it do outbound but it does inbound so you can charge and discharge through the one of the USB-C ports on the top of each battery there is a power button you press that there's a beep that says that it turns on and then there's some LED lights that show the battery level as well so with some of the packages of the uh, run hood power station here you can get a solar panel now this solar panel can be used with the supplied cables to charge up the two batteries that are in the main unit or you can actually connect them to the two extra batteries in the pro package and charge those so it has a nice carrying case weighs probably six pounds maybe there is a uh, zipper on the back that holds the the cable to connect to some other cables and i'll show you all the cables that this comes with and then the solar panels themselves are inside here so there are six of them and it's kind of hard to open them all out here but it's about seven feet maybe more long um, does help to have a second person to uh, set these up and position them in the sun because you do want to have direct sunlight no shade um, and you want to adjust it to make sure that you're getting the right angle with direct sun in order to get the most charging the solar panels can output maybe up to a hundred watts you can actually put them in parallel so if you had another set of these and you can buy it separately you can put them side by side and generate up to potentially uh, 200 watts on the back are little tripod legs that that fold out like this so that you can angle it to the sun each panel has that again it helps having someone else do this with you because otherwise you're kind of fumbling around trying to to get it all lined up so the solar panel is included with the the pro package as well as some of the other packages that are available and you can buy it separate another nice thing is that this package and i believe the other ones too comes with a nice carrying case here and trust me you're going to want to have this i have it all packed up with all the cables that it came with as well as all the documentation in um, another package here so let's take a look at some of those cables so we have the and these are all used to charge your batteries we have your traditional plug into the wall type of thing I call it the brick plug it in there is a, a knob right or a plug right here that goes right into the top and you can probably charge this in a few hours maybe four or five hours using the wall charger is the fastest way to charge them then there is also an adapter here to connect to the bricks or the energy bars as they call them and these have just a, a simple connector and you can do two at once um, and you plug them in as long as you don't have the these modules on here put them in parallel plug them in and then this end can be attached to the wall charger very easily just plug it in and away you go or you can plug it into the solar panels or you can plug it into your car so another uh, 
another cord that is that comes with the pack is the the basically the cigarette lighter in your car uh, DC port so it's I think it's a 12 volt plug it in if you're gonna be using your car to charge the batteries um, the run hood guys do recommend that you have your car running so you don't deplete your battery so you can plug that in you can then use uh, this particular adapter plug that in charge these two energy bars um, or you can simply take this end and plug it into the front of the main unit and charge it that way and you should be good to go then they also have uh, a set of, of cables here and these are the ones that you're going to connect to the solar panel and there's already cables as I, I showed in the zipper that you snap into this and then you can plug it directly into um, the main unit or you can plug it into this splitter and charge the batteries separately confused I was at first but I figured it all out it's kind of a lot of spaghetti here but you have all sorts of different ways that you can charge uh, this unit or any of the batteries externally let me talk about what you have on the faceplate here so first of all you have to if you want to use it you have to turn it on so there's a button there it'll it'll give a beep there's a LCD screen that gives you a lot of different information, including the percentage full or empty that the batteries that are attached in. Um, it also gives you a visual indicator of that. It tells you how many watts are going out or how many watts are coming in, like if you're charging it. You have to turn it on to, to activate either of these two ports and you have a, an AC port and then you have a DC port or a section for those types of ports. There is an LED light here that has three different settings. So you have one, one's a little dimmer, and then one is flashing. It barely takes any energy. So like when I have it on the brightest, it's saying that it's pulling three watts only. So you could run this for a long, long time. And that's another important uh, point. Depending on the power going, uh, coming in or going out, it will tell you in either hours or minutes how much time you have left on the battery. So right now, three watts, not much of a drain on the battery. It's showing 99 hours. So I could potentially just use this as a big flashlight for 99 hours. As soon as you start plugging in, um, items that pull more power it's gonna reduce I plugged a fan in that was pulling in maybe uh, or taking out maybe 30 watts maybe a little bit higher it said it could last maybe 16 hours running that way and that's sort of uh, back of a, a napkin math so let's talk about the other uh, modules here so to activate it you press it turn it on it'll make a beep and you have two ports here that you can plug things into i think the maximum output is 600 watts so you can't put in like a big power saw i tried with a, a vacuum that was about a thousand watts and it actually automatically shut down blink uh, made a warning beep and and told me i was overloading uh, those ports so you just have to be sure that the devices you have in plugged in are less than that 600. It does accept a three prong plug. Um, however, you can only do one at a time. I'd recommend just keeping it to simple appliances. Then the DC side has got two USB C's and two USB A's. So the USB C's are both rated for 100 watts. So again, you can charge a laptop two laptops simultaneously each of them pulling out um, 100 watts and then the USB A's are quick charge I believe I don't know if it says it on here 
but it handles up to 28 watts for each one so you can quick charge your smartphones or tablets and that sort of thing there are also some um, 12 volt plugs in here that are independent and you have a uh, 12 volt uh, DC plug that you can uh, plug in and you could potentially charge up your car battery if it was dead maybe charge it up a little bit enough to be able to turn it over and then charge it um, uh, more on its own with the engine running that is pretty much this uh, very unique run hood rally 600 pro again what i really like about it is the fact that it is modular so you can pop out the batteries charge them independently you can use these batteries independently um, if you want to so you could be using this as a charger and using these as as two independent um, batteries as well and you can hot swap them in with when these goes dead you can take one out pop another one in and then take the other dead one out and pop the other one in and you shouldn't lose any of your power and then you can charge the dead ones up either in your car or from the sun or if you had a wall plug somewhere you can charge them all up anyway i go into more detail on my website at hightechdad.com the link below if you found this review helpful and i try to do tech reviews of, of home gadgets and smart home things and any kind of technology that is useful uh, for the family on my website at hightechdad.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe. And you can ask me questions on Twitter. I'm at hightechdad, assuming Twitter's still around. And uh, you can also head over to my Facebook fan page at facebook.com forward slash HTD blog to leave any questions or message me there. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this review useful and watch for other reviews coming your way uh, from my channel. Thank you.